said it never So to say never A spirit left out to the broken My heart never heals It's the fears It's the reason why I'm smoking My words won't come out of my mouth Cause I'm joking Good morning here Got my uh, oats My coffee Small uh, Ride day Pound chocolate Really important to get this day started just right with some chocolate, some energy for strong riding, you know. Getting the morning started just right. Homemade coffee in the barista machine, YouTube, oats, couldn't be better. And uh, yeah, we're going riding. Yesterday's ride day was good. At the moment, taking it pretty easy, like getting back into the training rhythm and uh, yeah, just trying to ride really fast in a smooth way, kind of. Of course, when you go to the races, you start to forget those things and everything becomes more aggressive and that. But it's important now for maybe the first two or three weeks to focus really on the technique and going faster and faster with the correct technique. And then hopefully when the races starts, you still have that in the back of the head, even though on the races, everything is so chaotic, but usually the rider that win, like uh, I would say Prado and that, they still keep the perfect technique, even when winning. So it's important to have that dialed also on the races and keep your head in the game and don't lose focus. So at the moment, that's the focus at least. Just, uh, excited for riding today. But yeah, life on the 450 is going good and I hope you are enjoying being back with the videos a little bit. And uh, if there is something that you are wondering, leave them questions down below because then I will have some time to answer it when I do these sit downs. I'm always been like against like doing a little bit longer sit downs, talking and that. But I think if you are not entertained by that you will just skip through it anyway and uh, it's important to do it because then I actually can manage to connect a little bit more with you guys so even though it's like a boring boring sequence of uh, four or five minutes of talking I think that's important to do also to get the connection established here not just have quick clips and bam 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 much energy like to do a little bit more of a calm video so anyway if you have some questions leave them down below and anyway i would be much appreciated if you just gave likes and comments you know because for the algorithm to the videos be shown to more people the more comments or likes it gets it gets shown to more people so always do that always remember that anyway now just need to finish my food need to go to the workshop in about 45 minutes and then uh, see you guys at the track by the way like these lenses, dark lenses from 100%, like the hypervision and the just the dark lens. So crucial in the winter now. I feel like during the winter I'm addicted to these things because yeah, the sun is so low and it's so sharp in some kind of way. So I just, I have to always wear like dark lenses and like the extra peak because I cannot handle having sun into my eyes. I feel like during the summer it's not much of a problem because then the sun is much higher on the in the sky, so like the lighting isn't as as harsh and doesn't create those shadows and like you don't get light in your eyes. But during the winter now I'm really struggling with that, so I always have to put like the dark lenses in. So clean these now. They're not that clean actually. I have to do a little bit extra on the track, I guess, but crucial to bring to the track on training days these days for yeah, just uh, comfort during riding, to be honest. I've been living in the fast lane, about to go insane. See the, the lunch for today. Fresh. 
fresh, one kilo one. So I was thinking to show you guys a little bit of a uh, gym session I did uh, one of the days. I'm trying to implement a little bit of strength training at the moment just for injury prevention and feel stronger on the bike. When I get thrown around on the 450 it's good to be able to handle it. This day I had a little bit of an explosive session where I'm focusing on really high weight and low reps trying to move the weights quickly. First up I had uh, normal squats at uh, 100 kilo at full depth. I think I did like three times three reps as a working set and then went on to 120 kilo to do some half squats where I'm only working in the top of the range which is more relatable to MX I feel like. Trying to move the weight around quickly to be able to absorb jumps and bumps like you would on the bike so it's uh, as relatable as uh, possible. I did two sets of uh, five reps. Not too much since it's the same movement than squats, but uh, just to burn off the top of the rep a little bit and uh, work the legs. Many of you maybe think it's a little bit strange to only work in the top of the rep, but I feel like adding that on top of the full squats is uh, nice to have progress on the both of them. I then uh, went over to do some cleans. This is uh, quite a new exercise for me and that's why it's good to do. I can't go with that heavy of a weight just because of that it's pretty new to me and I'm a bit unbalanced and not so confident yet, not uh, having the perfect technique. I think I did like 60 kilo two times of uh, five repetitions and then went to 65 kilo for uh, four reps for the last one just to try 65 kilo if I was able to do it. It's also a good full body movement uh, that I definitely want to get uh, stronger in and I enjoy to do. It's uh, working the full body in a nicely way. So it's just a perfect exercise for motocross, I do really think. I then uh, went into the trap bar to do some jumps, again to replicate riding the bike and absorbing bumps and jumps and everything. That's uh, how it works. I did the uh, trap bar jumps with uh, 100 kilo at six reps for uh, three sets. Again, heavy weight and focus on explosiveness. Don't want to do too many reps and I finished up uh, with uh, two, three reps in the tank every time. Went over to some rows. I usually don't like to do them because of training the underarms. I try to avoid that because of arm pump, but it's good to do sometimes. That's why I try to use a bit of force with all my body to move the weight up and not use the arms too much to get pumped. 
ideally I could use some straps to avoid having to grip the bar so hard but I don't have that laying around so I did uh, 60 kilo for between 6 to 8 reps whatever felt good for uh, 3 sets Lastly we got some calf presses in the machine right here because who don't want uh, nice calves right? It's uh, always nice to walk around in the summer with some uh, good calves. Did uh, around 100 kilo. I think I started off with 90 and ended on 100 kilo with as many reps as I could do properly. Then finished off with some, yeah, I don't know what to call this even, just uh, jumping around a little bit to get a nice burn and uh, feel that you have trained. Yeah, the calves are feeling great and that's the end of the gym session. Let me know if you like this kind of content and uh, yeah, that's it for this video. So thanks for watching. I don't have any feeling in the kitchen. Oh, maybe a piece went inside, but that's okay. Perfect. This is going to wait. Ah, it's not burnt. You making me stressed? It's far from burnt.